Today we're working from the bullfighter position. With my points of contact here, I want to grip, out grip my opponent. So he has my grip, so my pants on the grip on these cuffs. As he commits to a side swing, he passes him. I go two on one on that side. As he continues to pass the side control, I'm just going to straighten my arms out. He comes in for side control. He can never get control of my head. And if he has no control of my head, it's very easy for me to get to my knees, and I can just arm drag him past me. Starting from the bullfighter position, I want to control my opponent's cuffs. As he commits to pass to one side, I go two on one, extending my arms, not giving him the ability to control my head. He sees this, and he's going to straighten out, come back to the center, I sit up with him, and I just want to make an arc. I'm going to go straight up and down the other side with my hands. I'm going to reach behind the leg, pushing his arm in to grab his bicep, get to my knees, holding the arm like a Russian pie, two on one, and I continue for the single leg takedown. I have the two on one with a Russian control on the arm. My hand has to come behind his leg to grip his wrist as I walk towards the back. I have a firm grip on his wrist. As I continue to walk towards the back, I put a hand blocking his face. I'm going to drop my weight down and pull up on the wrist with my hand. Connecting the inside arm. The reason I like this up and down arm drag is it's not about strength and it can't be defended with another arm drag. Up and down. I'm moving his arm across my body and I'm affecting his posture, bringing his head closer to the mass. So I'm just making a big arc up and down. I'm not pulling. That's the misconception. Up and down. A conventional arm drag, when I grip him, he can also arm drag me. That's the danger there. But I'm two on one here. He cannot re-arm drag me from this technique.